Is it recording? Hello everyone, good morning. I'm just outside enjoying the beautiful weather. The weather's actually terrible. It's uh, really gross outside. Very cool. Anyways, so the reason I'm filming is because tomorrow we are leaving to go to NARBC Tinley Park, and that means today, since today is the day before we are leaving to go on a trip, it's going to be very chaotic. It's like the day where I gotta do everything and make sure all my animals are good to go, for me to be gone for a few days. We do have a pet sitter, but I try to make everything as simple as possible. I get a lot of questions about how I go on trips and how stuff like that usually goes, having so many pets. So I thought I would just kind of film the day as much as I humanly can while still getting everything that needs to get done, done. I just wanted to show you guys like sort of what I do in a day when I'm leaving. I'm just gonna take you around with me and we're gonna get a bunch of chores done. I need to give everything water. I need to mist, I need to feed, I need to clean stuff. We also have flooring people coming over today because as a lot of you know and point out every time I film in my master bathroom that has carpet, Everyone's like, why do you have carpet? That's disgusting. So today, we are finally getting it ripped out. Hi, Queen. I dripped Hannah on our bed sheets somehow. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. You didn't pay what? for it. What? I don't know how it happened. I just noticed it. It's like so faint. So I don't know how, what the heck. It's uh, at the very end of the bed. I'm assuming it's Hannah. I don't know how to get it out. Uh, swag. We're very zoomed in now. Let's not look at my face that close up. Anyways, also I don't think I ever showed you guys Letty, my tortoise's outdoor enclosure because I, I don't know, I just haven't filmed it the entire time she's been outside. And since we live in Michigan and the weather is terrible, she can't even be outside for that long. I can now show you her enclosure, which she's not even in anymore because the weather has been too terrible for her to be out here. So I got this on Facebook Marketplace. Someone was literally selling their old tortoise enclosure. She did have a hide and everything, but I took everything out of here. And she just has like some of her greens still growing in there, but yeah. So I need to go turn on the lights for the geckos because it's not on a timer yet. So I haven't really shown you guys our setup for all of the geckos yet either. Gecko room is still kind of under construction, so I'm not going to be showing you guys everything in here. We actually have custom enclosures coming for, well, I have a lot of custom enclosure stuff coming up, but we had custom enclosures made for our gecko room, which are supposed to come around when we get back from Tinley. And then I also got more enclosures in for my reptile room that I'm going to set up. So there's a lot of enclosure setting up happening in the near future, and I'm really excited about it. But also, I'm stressed. So yeah, anyways, once we have everything completely set up, I can show you this room more in its entirety. But for now, this is just kind of where we keep all of our like grow outs, juveniles, those kind of things. It is very dark because this is where we keep just a lot of our kind of mid-sized geckos. But again, we have a bunch of custom stuff coming really soon, so I'm excited about it. So this is the last time we're ever gonna see carpet in our bathroom. My room behind me is probably a disaster because I had to take everything out of the bathroom and put it in our bedroom, so ignore that. But here it is. The infamous carpeted bathroom. Ew. Gross. You know, it sounds like a good idea. Let's put carpeted steps leading up to the bathtub. Luckily, you know, the shower and toilet area wasn't carpeted. This is the before, and hopefully we'll have a pretty good looking after. Anyways, <laughs> let's uh, do things. Really excited. <laughs>
Did you know that there are people who don't like pigeons? Like they're just people who don't think that they're really cute, amazing creatures. There are no intellectuals that think that though, so don't worry Cooper. All right, so now I'm going to start feeding some things, starting with this stuff right here. So this is Rapashi Morning Wood. This is for isopods. We have Beardy Buffet for Malachi, and then Bluey Buffet for Castor. Please don't interrupt me, I'm filming. Oh, is it live? Yeah, I'm filming. Should I wear this? Should I wear it? Yes, that's cute. Wait, no, it's hot. It's hot as- It's- okay, so it's hot as outside, plus like, you know, like- No in swearing the, on my channel. It's hot as frick outside, plus <laughs> the building is hot because there's like- Oh, yeah. A load of people, so you're just gonna be like sweating. There's a big load. Of people. Please no swearing. How's it going? I haven't taken my medicine yet, and we're three hours late, so not very good. Over, I need to water my fig. Maddie needs to faint. Okay, Jesus, hold on. I'm afraid you're gonna hit my monster. Big. God, stop. Big. What is wrong with you? Big. Why do you still water that in the sink? Because I, I can just let it drain out without worrying about it sitting in a pool of water. Amateur. You should just put a cover pot on it and learn to water it properly. <laughs> or I can just do this. Okay. Bustle. Bustling. You are literally- Bustling. That is not- to Get to work, bro. <laughs> I can't. God. Nice. If you were an earth sign, you'd never pull this.
we made it to Tinley. Shit myself. Well, yeah. Anyways, I did end up staying up until like 4 a.m. to get all of this stuff I had to do done. I obviously didn't film at all or film an ending to the video, which is what I'm trying to do now. So, yeah. The takeaway from this is getting ready to leave is a lot of work and I'm very bad at time management. We did make it though, so that's good. Anyways, today is like the VIP day for the expo. So we're gonna go there, I'll probably film some of that. And then there's like two more whole days of expo. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna film it all. It's gonna be probably the next video. So stay tuned for that if you wanna see all of the cool reptiles that are gonna be at the expo, because this is like the best expo ever that I've ever been to, my fave. I'm not really planning for sure on getting anything, but I have things that I kinda want and I might get if there's a really good opportunity, so stay tuned to see if I get anything as well. Well, I, I technically am picking up, we're both picking up geckos that we've already purchased. So we are technically getting things, but we already purchased them, so. Yeah, anyways, just watch the next video. A lot is going to happen. I will also have the NARBC website linked down below. We're also going to be at the St. Louis Expo in November, and at that one, we're actually going to be vending. So we'll have geckos available and also a bunch of supplies and other random stuff. So make sure to check that out, get your tickets, and hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Yeah.